Hello friends, Tony here. Now in the previous video I showed you how to create a dependent dropdown using Laravel and Splate package. In this video I want to show you how to do that with Laravel and Alpine.js. For that I have prepared a project and here is the project. Now let's open the VS Code and let's show you the... I have created a country and a city model. And for country I added a protected fillable name and method cities which return has many city class and ignore this method for now also let's open the city model the same thing we have fillable for country id and name id and name sorry and then method country which return belong to okay ignore also this one for now and let's open the cities migration I added the origin id country id and also the name on the city cities and also on countries i have added only the name yeah. okay now let's open the welcome and here i have added the app css and app.js, the app.css is for Titan classes and the app.js is because by default uh, Alpine.js is installed in Laravel project so if I open the app.js yeah here we have import Alpine from Alpine and Alpine start so for that, for that I added the app.js to have the Alpine.js and also app.css to have the Titan CSS classes and here we have something like this but i'm going to remove everything here one more thing let's open the database seeder and i have created a fake user and also two countries united kingdom and greece and for the united kingdom i have created three cities london liverpool and leicester and for greece also three cities athens patra and zakin we need that to create a dependent dropdown. Okay. Now on the welcome, I'm going to create a form. And inside the form, I'm going to add a select. And then when we select uh, United Kingdom country, I want to display only the cities belong to the United Kingdom. Okay. So let's say first form. And inside the form, I'm going to add a div. And inside this div, I'm going to add a label. And this label is going to be for the country ID. And let's give it some classes also. We'll just paste here. And let's say country. And then here we need to add a select. And give it ID, country ID. And also we need to add a name which is going to be also country id and let's also add some classes here i'm going to close and inside now we need to add some options so first i'm going to say option here and let's say choose a country and then we need to make a for each to display all the countries for each country for that let's open the web route and on the welcome here i'm going to say the last sign countries to be equal with country import the model and say old and now let's say here countries to be all our signed countries like this save close this one and now let's make a for each here so for each countries as dollar sign country here and let's add an option and to this option i'm going to bind the value which is going to be 
the country ID. So I sign country ID and then let's display the name. So country name like this. And let's say for now, let's see on the browser what we have. Uh, countries typo here yeah and we have United Kingdom and Greece and just let me add to this form a class to be max with MD and MX auto like this okay and I'm going to zoom it for you and here we have United Kingdom and Greece good now let's add another select down there but this one is going to be for the city id so let's see city id here and choose city also city is going to be here and now we don't need to make a for each country so we need when we select a country we need to display the cities here for now let's save and let's come here yeah we have choose city and why we don't see yeah country and because we have a dark text to white and because it's dark here i'm going to say on dark the bg to be slate let's say 800 and yeah Okay, okay, now let's add uh, Alpine.js here. We have Alpine.js because we have added here the uh, app.js. On the form, I'm going to say here, x data be equal with and other curly braces and inside here, I'm going to say country. It's going to be node. Also, I'm going to add a city, which is going to be node for now. And then I'm going to say cities, which is going to be an empty array. And then let's create a method. When we change the, when we select a country, I want to get the cities based on that. So I'm going to say on uh, country change. And here we are going to receive the event. And then I'm going to use Axios because also the Axios, if we open the package JSON, yeah, here we have the Axios is also auto installed uh, by default installed with Laravel and the Alpine.js. So let's close this and let's use Axios here dot get and here we need to add the URL to get the cities based on the country ID. So I'm here we are going to add the event target value, which is going to be the country ID. So let's say here slash countries. I'm going to create this route slash and then dollar sign and here add the event dot target dot value okay and then and inside let's say response and here i'm going to say this cities which mean the cities we have here which is right now an empty array is going to be equal with response dot data okay now let's create this uh, route countries slash and the country id here Let's open the web routes. And right here, I'm going to say route get slash countries slash, and here we need the country. Okay, and I'm going to use a closure here. So let's say function and I'm going to, uh, to bind the model so let's say country 
dollar sign country and then we just return the relationship country cities so let's say return and i'm going to return a response json dollar sign country and the, re the relationship cities like this and let's close also this one so we use the route model binding or we can say country id here and say country find or fail the id but I'm going to use route model binding and then return response country cities. Okay, now on the select here for the country, I want to add also the X model to be equal with the country. Okay, so country here. And then let's say X on change the change of this select I'm going to call the uh, on country change so let's copy and paste this one here and just to try now I'm going to say here uh, console dot log this dot cities and let's save and let's see here refresh inspect the element go to the console and if I choose uh, United Kingdom yeah, we have a proxy here. And yeah, here we have London, Liverpool, and Leicester. Let's select Greece. Select here. And we have Athens, Patra, and Zakynthos. Good. Okay, now let's uh, populate the cities. And for that, we need to use the cities here. And let's remove the console log for now. We don't need anymore. And go to the select and here I'm going to say X model it's going to be city I'm going to add template here so let's say template and in this template I'm going to make X4 and here I'm going to loop through in the cities I'm going to say city in cities And we need also to add the key. So let's say key to be city.id. Okay, and now inside, let's say like this option. And I'm going to bind the value here as well. So let's say value is going to be city dot id and then to display the name i'm going to use the x text which is going to be the city name okay so city dot name and let's close this option and let's save this now let's open the browser refresh let's select the country united kingdom and you have london liverpool and leicester if i select uh, Greece, we have Athens, Patra, and Zakin. Okay, friends, and you can get the IDs, so city ID or country ID when you submit the form. But this is how you can uh, create a dependent dropdown using Laravel and AlpineJS. I hope you like that, and don't forget if you like such a video subscribe to my channel and like the video also share it with your friends because it's going to help me to rank on youtube all the best and see you in the next video friends thank you very much